Hi, and welcome to the Bearded Tinker channel. Today, we are going to improve a bit on Tado heating component. So, stick around and we'll start in 10 seconds. Today, we are going to work a bit on Tado uh, climate component. Unfortunately, I discovered a minor bug or issue or possible even design flaw in the Tado system. And what this thing did is it unfortunately allowed for my home to be in a condition heating when the battery in the smart valve was too long. And the result is following. Uh, my home started to heat one of the kids' rooms. Uh, battery in the smart valve was too low for it to open. So the valve was blocked. No heating was coming inside the room. Temperature sensor in Tada smart valve was dropping. And if you look at the application, application shows that my battery is good, condition was good. And it just kept on trying to reheat my room. That resulted in a heating system trying to heat that specific room for 12, 14 hours without a break. And it was unable to do it because the valve in the room was closed. I replaced the battery, the system automatically resigned with the Tado, it uh, reset itself, it tested the valve and it opened up the valve and heating started in that room. But what that got me thinking is, is why did it happen and how I can prevent it or at least be notified if any future problem like that should show up. So what I did, I created a binary sensor tracking the heating inside each and every room where I have Tado. And of course, after creating that sensor that tracks heating status in each individual room, I was able to make automation with some kind of conditions. And now I get notified if the heating is on for more than, for example, 30 minutes, 45 or 60 minutes. In my case, I currently have it set at 60 minutes. If any of the following room has this status at heating for longer than 60 minutes, I will receive notification inside my Telegram. So let's get started with this. Let's go to Configurator. Let's check if we have binary sensor file. Config binary sensor. OK. And here we want to create a new binary sensor. It will be template. So it will be Tado heating status. As I said, platform will be template. And we will be using sensors for this template. What I will do here, I will just paste the code from my home setup. Okay, this is it. This should be okay. Uh, let me explain what we did here. Inside the binary sensor, we use platform template and we created a new binary sensor from the climate living room entity or device. What we are doing, we are tracking condition, this action condition, and we want to know when it's heating or not. So this binary sensor will be showing us on or off depending on the status of this variable. If it's equal to heating, it's on. If it's not equal to heating, it's off. This should be it. As I said, this is living room heating, binary sensor. Friendly name will be heating in living room and we will be tracking state from this uh, device. Let's save this. Let's go to configuration, server control, check configuration. And we have to restart system. That way we will be able to create automation with this new binary sensor. Okay, our system is up and running. Let's first go to overview, climate. Yeah, we still don't have full data here. Uh, let's go to configure UI and let's create a new entity for this binary sensor. We just want to see if it's heating or not. Save. And as you can see, we have here status heating and status here for the binary sensor is on. And this is what we wanted to have. Now we can create automation. Let's go to Configuration, Automations, and let's create new automation. 
we will skip this one part and go the old-fashioned way. It will be Tado living room too long heating. Okay, next thing we have to define the state or what uh, sensor we want to track the state from. So it's heating, binary sensor. And the condition for, we want to track when it's in condition on. Next thing is we have to define for how long it has to be in the condition heating or on before we get notified. In this test case, I will be using one minute. So this should be like this. If, for example, you want it to be one hour, you can type in something like this. And what this will do is it will notify you if the heating is in the on condition for one hour. Let's change back this to one minute. And here we want to select or define what we want to do when the condition is met. For me, this will be notification inside the Telegram. Notify bearded bot and I want to receive message. or whatever text you want to uh, input here. Let's press save. Let's go back, back, and let's go to server controls, reload automations, and this should be it. Let's go to developer tools, services, automation, trigger, it is here. So next thing what I want to do and what I want to show you is let's see how Telegram looks. And let's see if we can trigger this event. Call service. And as you can see, the moment I press the call service, we received here warning that heating is on for one minute. And this is something that we want. This is really simple thing to do, simple thing to implement, but I think it will help you in the wrong run, especially if you have any kind of uh, issue with your uh, setup, whatever setup you have. Unfortunately, since I do not have Netatmo, Nest, Ecobee, Honeywell or some other system, I'm unable to tell you how you can do it. I presume that the steps would be similar. The only thing what you have to do is you have to check following in the states find your climate sensor or climate entity or climate device. And what you have to do is you have to find a status that you receive here. So for me, it is heating and you just have to change your sensor to match these two values. This is it. Thank you once again for watching Home Assistant how to video. This was a short one. Unfortunately, I'm in a bit hurry. I have to run to Christmas party. I hope you find this video useful. If you have any kind of a comment or a question in regard to this video or any other video, please leave me a comment down below in the comment section. If you have any wish what you want me to record or any topic you want me to cover, please also leave it down in the comment section. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button. And of course, I will be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun.